going on, Libra? It's your girl, D. Eighth House Energy. Here to bring you your September 15th through the 30th reading. September 15th already, Libra. That's what's up. Almost your season. All right. Two more weeks, week and a half, something like that. So uh, I know you guys are feeling it, starting to wake up. You know, well, you already woke. Now you just, you know, waiting. <laughs> But uh, that's what's up. So I have a, a a happy birthday Libra reading for you, um, either on the twenty twenty first or the twenty second. Um, I have to double check, but it'll be out around then. Probably actually, I'll do it after I put out these these videos. But we'll see. I think I'm gonna wait closer to that day to uh to do it. I don't know. I don't know, Libra, but I got something for you. Don't worry. I won't bore you with the details, but this is going to be for Libra. Um, and it doesn't matter where the placement is. This is a general read, so just know that. All the information you need to know about the reading is going to be below. I'm going to get right into it. I don't want to um, talk <laughs> too long. I got a message. Uh, one of my uh, viewers, I can't say they're a subscriber. I'm, I'm not sure. I didn't check, but they're like the... Uh, the intro is too long. So I'm like, just use the fast forward, you know? But I'll, I'll, I'm will i conscious of it. I'll try to, you know, keep it short to the point. So I'm going to do a Celtic cross spread for you, Libra. About to be Libra season. About to be about them scales and balances. <laughs> All right, Libra. So let's take a look and see what the overall energy is for you guys. All right. So I got Libra. Check this out. Queen of Wands. Hot stuff. Got the Six of Wands. Hot stuff. Libra, what's up? Two of Cups. Libra. Libra, what are you doing? Ooh, Libra, let's see what you up to. Let me, okay, before we do that, let me tell you what I'm oohing about. First of all, this is the Queen of Wands, okay? This is Aries energy, but the Queen of Wands, this is representing somebody who their thoughts and their emotions about somebody, they find someone very attractive. Someone is turned on by you. Someone thinks that you are the sexiest, all right? They have a strong connection, a strong, passionate connection. So if this is someone you're already intimate with, the, the sex is off the hook with you guys, okay? They find you or you find them. It's a general read. Take the energy how it resonates, but they find you hot. You find you guys are on at each other, and you guys both are feeling like jackpot, you know, recognizing each other, and then you guys are jumping into something, all right? So Libra, what's going on? Let's find out. This is nice so far. Not bad at all. So the current energy, six of wands. This is the current energy. Now, are you walking away from this person and walking towards this? Or are you walking away from someone and then you guys are going to get back together and this is what it's going to be? Hmm. But yeah, definitely walking away. When you walk away, like this is somebody who's looking for, okay, first of all, she's in the boat. She's standing up in the boat. This looks like somebody who wants calmer waters, okay? This is not someone who wants the waters to be rough and rugged right now, okay? So this might be the safest way for her to go, but she's taking the, 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 the she's got to go. She realizes that. So... You know, she her head is everywhere, you know, as far as her thoughts are concerned. Because uh, she's looking at the past because you see some of the swords are behind her. And then she's looking at the future, you know, thinking about the future. Got some of the swords in front of her. So you're in contemplation, but you're moving towards the future. So you're moving towards leaving the situation. And now let's talk about the energy that's either challenging this move or hindering, like hindering this move or helping this move. 
Okay, so that's the Two of Swords in reverse. So this is you already making a decision what to do, okay, when it's in reverse. This is Gemini energy. The Six of Swords is um, Libra energy. So this is you. Yeah, this is you, Libra. So you're definitely on your mental right now, air sign mentality right now, you know, looking at things the way you need to look at it. Like, look, this is this is a done deal. I got to go. But let's look at the past and see what's going on in the past. So this will tell us what this uh, overall energy is about, maybe. Okay. So in the past, Queen of Cups energy. So this is showing me that this is telling me either you met someone or someone was this way to you. Someone very loving, someone very supportive, someone very nurturing, someone intuitive, someone beautiful, someone kind. Someone conscious of the people around them, very caring, considerate, compassionate, just somebody super dope. Because that's the Queen of Wands. This is in the past. Now, in your immediate past, Knight of Cups in, okay, okay, Knight of Cups in reverse. Libra, this is telling me that. I'm, I'm assuming here with this Queen of Cups and then we go from the Queen of Cups to the Knight of Cups in reverse. You were like this to someone and this person did you dirty. Okay. And they came back to apologize or they didn't. Okay. Either they came back to apologize and you said, nah, I'm good. I don't want to start anything over with you. I'm out. Current energy. Okay. Uh, that's not even a decision for me. <laughs> the decision is made. <laughs> like, I don't even have to think about that. No, sir. No apology or no ma'am. I'm not even trying to go back that route with you. Or this could be you leaving this person, deciding to follow some type of uh, passionate new beginning with someone else. And this person is like, please don't go. Okay. But this is what the this is what your immediate past is. But just you know, time is fluid. This could be coming up in the future if you haven't experienced it for some of you. Okay, some of you might have already went through this. Some of you might be going through this right now. So just take it like that. Now, <clears throat> your thoughts. Where's your head at with this situation? Scorpio got this as well. Same position. You're trying to step out here and be balanced. This is that. Um, Sagittarius energy. Okay. So you you just want to take your time with something. Or perhaps you want to get back in balance. Maybe with this, you leaving a situation, you know, where, you know, somebody's coming back to apologize. Perhaps things were imbalanced at one point. And, you know, your head is just like right now, I just need to focus on getting things in order. Okay, so this could have been a situation that was in the past. Now, in your immediate future, we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus energy, Taurus Capricorn Virgo energy. This is Virgo energy. Now, with this Five of Pentacles in reverse, this could represent someone wanting to come back. So maybe it's the same person. This person in your past came back to apologize and you may have told them, no, nah, I'm good. You got balance. They came back again or they're going to come back again if they haven't already. Like I said, depending on how it resonates, it may happen to you if this is even something that resonates with you. If it didn't happen, it might happen. All right. So if you would have already experienced this person coming back to apologize and you told them, God, no, be gone. They're going to come back. Libra, they're coming back. So is this who you get back with? Things get better. This person has learned to respect you, treat you the way you're supposed to be treated or realize that you are the one for them. And so they're like, okay, I'm going back after it. I don't care. I got turned down the first time, but I realized that this is the one for me. So I'm going I'm, I'm to keep coming. Or are you like, no, I'm turning you down again because I've met this.
Let's see. And your fears. Six of wands. I'm sorry, seven of wands. Why would you be fearing? Uh, why would you? Are you fearing that you're going to have to defend yourself? Are you fearing that um, there's going to be competition, perhaps other other people? Um, are you fearing that you're not going to be able to make a choice? Hmm. Okay. Well, we're going to clarify anyway. So how people see you is high priestess in reverse. Libra. So people see you as communicating, expressing how you feel, expressing how you're feeling. People could see you in your head, you know, or or maybe you have a a, a godly or a godlike energy to you. You know, this because this could represent you getting downloads. Like to me, this is when you're getting uploads. Like you should listen to your intuition because you're getting uploads or you're sending up to get information to come down. And so to me, when I see this in reverse, this represents the, the universe downloading energy to you, downloading information to you. So people could see you in as someone who is spiritual. So maybe um, you know, maybe you're becoming more religious, maybe you are praying more, or maybe you, you know, are starting to go to church more, or, you know, maybe you are into tarot card reading, you know, whatever it is that you, you know, may want to uh, get into. It could be more mysticism than anything, because this is Piscean energy. Piscean energy is about mysticism. So maybe people see you in that way. All right. And then for your hopes... Seven of Swords, Gemini Energy. Now, why would that be in somebody's hopes, Libra? Are you hoping to get someone back? Are you feeling vengeful? You want to uh, get revenge? You're angry? So this person, okay, so yeah, perhaps you, this person is making you upset. Maybe this is what this, what's in your fears. You happen to defend yourself against this person. This person could be annoying you and you're getting frustrated with them. You get to the point where you're getting pissed off where you feel like you may have to take action. That's what I'm feeling for some of you. And you're thinking about it. But the universe is saying, don't think like that. Don't do that. Because even if you get down like that, things are not going to work out well for you. You know what I mean? Learn your lesson. Learn your lesson. Things are going to go in your favor. But uh, the outcome here, Five of Swords, Libra Energy, that's you. Don't, don't, this is exactly what I was just saying to you. The universe just said, don't do this. Don't be spiteful, don't be hateful, you know, don't do that. Or this could be you, you know. Yeah, you're just thinking crazy. This is what the outcome is. It's like you're going to put yourself in a position where you're not going to be happy. <clears throat> and don't you don't want to do that. You know? Or maybe you're feeling like you won. Now that you got this. You know? Whatever you went through. You know? Sometimes this card to me could represent you went, you, you, you were a ride or die. You know, you went through hell with this person. You fought like hell with this person. Okay? Back and forth for this. To get to this. You know, because you wanted this. But let's clarify these cards and see. <clears throat> you know, the devil's in the details. And these clarifiers are the details. So let's see what's up. We're going to clarify these cards, Libra. 
We're going to get the scoop. Some of y'all already know what it is. Don't spoil it for the rest of us. <laughs> so, the Six of Swords. All right, this is your current energy. Leaving something behind. Looking for, you know, um, relief, mental relief. You got a lot on your mind. You're thinking about the past. You're thinking about the future. We have that clarified with the moon in reverse. Piscean energy. So, this is interesting because this... We just getting out of the um, we're just still getting out of the Piscean moon, full moon stage, right? And then it'll be the new moon on the twenty. Is it the twenty third? But yeah. So what? This is telling me that you realize the illusions. There were illusions to the situation. You no longer disillusioned. All right. So because the, the swords represent thoughts. So you thinking about it. Like, look, this was crazy what happened in the past. I'm about to get, I'm moving past that. Now, let me think about what's going on with my future. But as far as the past is concerned, the reason that you're letting that go and moving on towards the future and focusing on the future is because the truths were revealed. It's still on your mind, though. But you're getting past it. But it was revealed. So, secrets were revealed. Now, let's clarify this. Two of cups, I mean, there's two of um, swords in reverse because you made a decision. Now, what made you make the decision? So let's to try to get some information on that. What happened? What was revealed? Clarify this two of swords in reverse. Clarify with the four of wands. You just got tired. Nothing happened to, there's nothing major that happened. You was tired. Like I said, you was trying to get balanced. This is your crowning energy. Because this person was driving you bonkers, like I said. I'm sorry you let them back in. They throw you off. Now you're relaxing. Now in the future, here they come again. I'm sorry. This, this person seems like a, oof, a narcissist. Let's talk about that for one. So let's clarify this narcissistic. Well, no, before we do that, we're going to do the Queen of Cups because this is how you were in the past. Or maybe this is how this person came to you in the past and then they switched up. But let's clarify. Who is this Queen of, of Cups? Who is this Queen of Cups? Why is she here? Why is she here? She's clarified. Queen of Pentacles. So there are more than one person. You and somebody else, Libra, you in, in a, a possible Capricorn energy or somebody who exudes energy of a Capricorn. Um, so this is somebody who could be a business owner, an entrepreneur. Uh, this could be somebody who um, has a high uh, ranking position in a business or a corporation or a company. Um, this could be somebody who uh, makes big money, has money. Okay, she could, he or she could be a single parent. Or they could be married or they could be divorced. Um, but they, they could have kids and they got dough. They're very comfortable, living a very comfortable life. All right. And then we have the Queen of Cups energy, somebody who's very loving, supporting. So this is two different people here, two different energies. Or maybe this is you. You were this to this person. You were everything to this person. Okay. Everything. These two queens um, combined. So if that's the case, Libra, you was doing too much. But at any rate, let's clarify this Knight of Cups in reverse here. Clarify the Knight of Cups. Why is this Knight of Cups in reverse? We have that clarified with the Page of Swords in reverse. Yeah, bad news. First of all, this is somebody who spies gossips, you know, doesn't tell the truth, very nosy, curious. This is like, when I say curious, this is, this is like a childlike energy. Somebody who just like pushes until they can get away with something. Like they'll keep pushing. Yeah, this is, this is a jerk right here. All right. These two energies here combined, this person is, is 
a narcissistic individual. This person is very petty. This person is bored and likes to play with people's emotions and feelings. Um, and that's what they get excitement out of, controlling other people's emotions. All right. So I understand why your crowning energy is temperance. I, I get it. Let's clarify temperance. Why is temperance here? Let's clarify temperance. We got temperance clarified with judgment. Your energy. You stepping in and saying enough's enough. Libra. That's what's up. Now let's clarify this uh, current future. Because what's coming in the future is this person's coming back. Or either you're going back or somebody's going to try to come back. Either it's you or them. You know, because this could have been them doing this to you or this could have been you doing this to them. Take the energy how it resonates. Five of pentacles in reverse. Why is that here? What is that representing? What does it mean? Three of pentacles in reverse. No support. So somebody don't got no money. Somebody's coming back because they want money. They want your money. That's why they come in. They want your money. And that makes sense because this is how you were to them in the past. This is how they looked at you. As somebody who could take care of themselves. Somebody who's nurturing, loving, supportive. So the money factor was there. So yeah, they're coming back. They don't want to put no work in. But they want to come back. So let's take a look at the Seven of Wands. What's in your fears is the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands in your fears? This is somebody who's defending themselves, somebody who's being defensive, somebody who's fighting off competition, fighting off haters. Clarify with the World card in reverse. So it looks like this person could very well have other people. And it's not going to stop. Perhaps this person is not going to stop coming at you. It's not going to end. They keep coming. And that's, it. that's what's in your fears. Is that they, they're coming back. That's what's in your fears. You're getting very, very defensive. Look at this person. Just imagine how your face would be. His face is the face of somebody who knows that these people are all trying to rush in past him. That they will, they get to the point where they'll push him down and get him out of the way. So he got a face on that's serious. Okay? In defense. Like, this is not going to be easy. This is going to be hard. Alright? And this is, might be how you're feeling. The energy you're feeling when this, if this person comes back. Because then you're fearing that it's not going to end. It's not going to stop. Oh, Libra. Libra, that's crazy. Sorry to hear this. Hopefully you're getting away. Let's, let's clarify these cards. So how people see you is as the high priestess in reverse. Um, let's clarify that because I have my ideas of what that might be. Um, it could be someone that you, you people see what's going on with you. Um, hmm. Hmm. Let me clarify that. This, to me, with this uh, High Priestess in Reverse and this Knight of Wands represents someone who is letting people know that they're smashing you. If this is somebody who's not interested in you, if it's just a one-night stand. This is someone letting people know that, that you guys are... And this is not, like, in love or anything, but this... this we'll see what as the cards clear, but... This right here is looking to me like somebody's telling all y'all business as far as what y'all do in the bed. Because that's how people see you. Mm -hmm. Let's clarify the seven of swords here. Why? Okay, so now Libra, if that's the case, I understand why 
the seven of swords is in your hopes. You're trying, yeah, yeah. That's why the, I was saying with these cards here, don't do that. This person, they could have, hmm. Yep. Yeah, let's clarify this Seven of Swords, Libra. I see why you're ready to get this person back. This person violated. So in your hopes, we got the Seven of Swords. And we got that clarified with the Five of... Okay, now I understand, Libra. I was wondering why the Five of, of Swords was up there, the outcome. So it looks like... You're basically saying, we at war now. <laughs> we at war. Now, let's clarify this five of swords here. Because that's the outcome. So, yeah. You, you know this person's coming back. But you're going to be ready for them. Clarify the five of swords. We have to clarify with the eight of pentacles. Yeah, you're working on it. You're, gonna work, you're working on something. <laughs> Libra. Libra, that's interesting. But... So, is this person talking about you to their friends? Telling their friends that they love what you do? Like you're good at you're good at what you do. They love it. Like this is what I'm getting to. Because in reference to them telling people about you guys, this is what this overall energy also could be meaning to me. So hmm. That's just what I got with that. Um let me see what time it is, Libra. But yeah, this person, yeah, and, and it makes sense that this person would be doing that because again, this energy here. So this was a this is a grimy individual, Libra. And I'm sorry you had to deal with this person, but this person is definitely bragging about you. Now that I'm looking at this person is telling people that you're in love with them, you know, and they're letting people know that, you know, they're just whatever, you know, it's it's not anything serious. That you want something serious with them. That's what I'm getting, Libra. Let me get you a uh, oracle here. So, yeah, this person's coming back. So now that you know, Libra, what's up, it'll be interesting what you do. So now put together a plan, Le Libra. Work on that plan. Or don't even mess with them. Just focus on your money. <clears throat> You're going to find out, unfortunately, that this person is garbage. And then you'll probably leave them be. Because they're not going to really be truthful with you anyway. You know what I mean? So let's get you a Dreams of Gaia card before this video cut off. So what I got for my, my Libra is September 15th through September 30th. Ooh, Libra. Too many turned over, so let me get it going for you. <clears throat> Libra. September 15th, September 30th. Alright, Libra. The Heaven Earth. Heaven Earth. These are beautiful cards. These are called the Dreams of Gaia. There's the book. I was drawn to these cards, and when I opened up the box, it was just like, wow. So I'm going to start incorporating these more into my readings because I really, really love these. And the meanings and the cards, like, I really like it. All right, so hopefully you will too. Heaven and Earth. One, two, three, eight. eight. All right.
right in black. <clears throat> Here's the card. Oh, let me hurry up. Okay. So this is heaven and earth. Above, below, nature, humanity, magic, mundane, material, immaterial. Separation is an illusion. Center and align. Spiritual being in a physical body. Spirit dwells in nature. Experience, learn. Experience life and learn from experience. Symbiotic relationships. Harm the planet and harm humanity. The ordinary is magical and the magical is ordinary. Eleventh of Earth is balancing and realignment card. It suggests now is the time to keep yourself centered and in harmony with the world around you by banishing the illusion of separation. You are a spiritual being, a soul, living in a physical body in order to experience and learn from life. You are here to learn from those experiences in order to grow and evolve. It is important to integrate and ground yourself or ground your belief in a higher power or the intangible here on the physical plane. Know that spirit, the divine, dwells in all things of earth, sky, and water. Honor, pray, or follow a particular religious path. Spirituality is about connection. I'm sorry, honor spirit here on earth. To be spiritual does not necessarily require you to pray or follow a particular religious path. To be spiritual does not necessarily require you to pray or follow a spiritual religious path. Spirituality is about connection. It's the center that you are part of something larger in your life. And it's about being or believing in more than what your senses experience. It's about believing in the mysterious, inexplicable, and unknowable. It's about nurturing and honoring your personal relationship with land beneath your feet in the heavens above. All right, so this is just basically about uh, getting centered, getting balanced. That's why we have the card here. This is where your head is at. So you're in the right place. So this is the Spirit's advice to you, and you already know that. So you're in tune. You know what's up. So Libra, I hope this reading was helpful. If it resonated, please let me know um, in the comments, and I'll see you guys soon. I do love you guys, and I hope you get past this. Peace.